endoscopic management of gastrointestinal wall defects, fistula closure, and stent fixation using through-the-scope tack and suture system. Introduction. Endoscopic mucosal resection, EMR, and endoscopic submucosal dissection, ESD, result in mucosal defects of various sizes with exposure to muscularis and submucosal vessels. These defects can result in immediate or delayed adverse events, including bleeding and perforation. These risks can be decreased by defect closure. Multiple devices are available for mucosal closure, including through-the-scope, TTS, clips, over-the-scope, OTS, clips, and endoscopic suturing. However, each device has benefits and limitations, including the need for withdrawal of the endoscope, OTS clips and suturing devices, and some defects may not be amenable to closure by TTS clips owing to the size or shape of the defect. A novel endoscopic tack and suture device was developed to overcome some of these limitations. The Through the Scope Suture, TTSS, system was approved for the endoscopic approximation of soft tissue. It can be used for the closure of EMR or ESD defects, fistulas, leaks, or perforation. TTSS eliminates the need to withdraw the endoscope from the patient before applying therapy and can be used with both gastroscopes and colonoscopes for challenging locations. A recent study demonstrated the successful use of the TTSS to close gastrointestinal defects. However, the study involved a relatively short follow-up duration and data on the use of TTSS still need to be provided. The authors aimed to assess the clinical course and effectiveness of TTSS across multiple indications, including mucosal defect closure, fistulas, and stent fixation. Methods. A retrospective review was performed for consecutive patients who underwent TTSS application. Primary outcomes were technical and clinical success, and secondary outcomes included adverse events and long-term clinical success. Results. 53 patients were included with a mean defect size of 32.6 millimeters. Technical success was achieved in 51 patients. Clinical success was achieved in 49 patients. Two patients experienced failed fistula closure after technical success. Long-term follow-up, i.e. more than 30 days, was available for 45 patients with a mean follow-up of 7.2 months. One patient had self-reported bleeding that did not require further intervention. Conclusions. TTSS was an effective and safe method for the closure of large gastrointestinal defects and could be used for fistula closure and stent fixation, making it a valuable addition to the armamentarium of endoscopic closure devices.